Why is this happening? Oh, Blair came here as well. Oh, she in our group. Owner, I mean Luther. Now, do you understand? Stop this right now. Blair? So you led them here. Your defiance knows no bounds, my sister. Your brother and sister? My god! So Blair is the owner's sister. <laughs> yes! The life forms bond within the Eternal Sphere have attained a level of intellectual development that rivals our own. It's time to let them go their own way. You're kidding me. They're nothing but data. The cosmos of the Eternal Sphere is a toy. It's just a game! It's just a game! Now that they've developed minds equal to our own, how are they any different from us? But we always had developed minds equal to you. The game always had humans in. The evidence is clear. It's getting harder and harder to interfere in their dimension as we please. Doesn't that prove that they've become equals? That they deserve to live? But they've gained the power to cross into our own dimension and inflict harm on us. Such dangerous entities cannot be ignored. They didn't appear in our dimension until you tried to destroy theirs. In my mind, they've done nothing wrong by coming here to stop you. What are you talking about? The very existence of entities like these is causing massive bugs in the Eternal Sphere itself. Tell me what's wrong with eliminating flawed code. Flawed code? Sure, we might be entities created by your hand, but that doesn't give you the right to decide everything. We deserve the right to live and die on our own! Yeah! This is ridiculous. You're nothing more than a collection of zeros and ones. No matter what the real truth is, the fact is, we have thoughts and feelings of our own. We want to save our dimension and everyone in it. She's right. We've come all this way thanks to the thoughts and feelings of countless people. Allowing you to erase us would betray them all. We have a large buff guy who's basically done nothing the entire game, and he helped us. Thoughts and feelings? What rubbish! Your thoughts and feelings are nothing more than fabrications modeled on our own! I want somebody to cut West World, and every time there's a scene with, um... Uh, the Welsh dude, I've forgotten his name. It's just Luther instead. Stop calling us fabrications! Besides, I don't remember being created by you! Luther, you still don't get it, do you? Shut up already, Blair! It's you who doesn't understand. Why does Luther wear this? <laughs> no matter how high a level of existence they try to reach, they're still nothing but fabrications. Data should obey the will of their creator and submit to deletion. Delete. Don't underestimate us. Delete. Delete. We won't give up. Don't think everything will go your way. We're not your toys! Here we go. Oh, but we get increased recovery rate upon win. Maybe I should have considered healing before the start of the fight. Uh, we need uh, a lot of MP, so I'm going to do that right now. Um, ooh, did a bit of jazz. A bit of light jazz the end of the game. Uh, we have a lot of health. Like, we've got a lot of potions and stuff. We're doing well. I'm going to assume this guy has multiple forms. The thing I saw the other day, uh, Tarkus. Um, I forgot what the band is called, uh, but it's Japanese jazz. There's a reason why boss fights sound like Japanese jazz, uh, and it's because there was a big Japanese jazz scene. There's specifically a song called Tarkus, which sounds very much like uh, Final Fantasy music. 
We'll just use berries then. Oh. Oh, we're too close. Apparently, I got proficient. Ah, oh, fuck. That wasn't proficient at all. That was inefficient. Hills of the paralysis before we start the next one. Okay, that was really easy, but uh, it's a JRPG, so there might be like a weird spike in difficulty right now. This can't be. I'm the creator. Why is this happening? Why does being the creator make him a really good fighter? Luther, stop this right now. Hurry, everyone. Get the Eternal Sphere back up. I'll try to fill in the gaps the best I can. This makes no sense. How could this happen to me? How could I be surpassed by my own creations? By only erasing the problematic data. If the viruses are working together to create their own data, then I should delete everything! Luther? <laughs> That's it! I've got that to look I forward to. Stop with the Milky Way Galaxy. I'll completely delete all the data linked to the Eternal Sphere. That will completely eliminate these viruses, too! <laughs> it's so simple! Why didn't I think of it before? Luther, you need to set up a GitHub. Roll back to a previous version without the viruses. Ugh, oh, you amateur. Even I know that. I do very little programming. This is basically the limit of my programming. A snail. I'll delete the whole universe! I wouldn't needlessly... Oh no, my snail! <laughs> snail is safe, it's just been sent to the Shadow Realm. What are you doing? You are putting yourself in grave danger by trying this while you're still projected into the Eternal Sphere! Oh yeah, of course he is, yeah. That's probably why I can fight. Luther, don't do it! Didn't explain why the executives can fight, though. <laughs> but as long as he doesn't have the fucking guns from earlier, I'll be fine. Die, 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 die! Be gone, everyone and everything! Righteousness shall prevail! Cool. Be careful. Those hands have like more polygons than everything in the rest of the game. Uh, John, she's still paralyzed. Uh, Basil. Oh, she's gonna do healing. Yeah. 
da. Oh, that guy's not not being stunned. Perfect berries. I feel like we had magical berries. There we go. Get out of that. Does work. <laughs> no, don't fucking move on him. Wallow in despair. Ooh. Yeah, I should have got Sophia. I was just too lazy. Because, um, like, she's clearly my healer as well at this point. Um, I do like the mag magic damage, though. It has helped me out in a few fights. Fuck, 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 fuck! Hmm. I think, uh, 60. Where am I 60? Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Wallow in this. Resurrection uh, looks as well. Um, uh, he's doing something scary. Oh, God! I'm not sure what's going on right now. I'm quite nervous. I'm gonna hear. Uh, fuck. Um, Oh, that was MP damage. Okay, I wasn't even paying attention to MP damage. Air. 
Hear that sound? It's the gift. I'll go for you to take you away. Be gone! Wallow in despair! Okay, okay. I can't remember where my step on is. Obviously, we'll turn off the cutscenes. Uh, I might make myself a cup of tea. Uh, 5102 or yeah I have no buffing and buffing might be a great idea uh, 5007 to be for honest I would have been a little bit disappointed if I had done it first time uh, I'll be back in like two minutes. We're gonna make a cup of tea. Mm, no, maybe some hot chocolate. Yeah, we're gonna have a cup of tea after that as well. Right, let's try that again. Uh, let's make sure we're fully MP'd up. Um, and maybe I want to look at my skills as well. They've probably gained a bunch. Hmm, although she's, she heals, so. I have no idea what this means. Hmm. Ooh. That's really tempting for the main character. Uh, I'm gonna try Berserk. Having no defense is probably a terrible idea, but fuck it. Okay, no, I don't want to damage on. Does he get stunned? No, I think I want stun. He doesn't seem to do stun though. If I could have extra damage. If he's not going to get stunned anyway. We want damage. Okay. I'm going to see my game again. I might change some of these settings, but... Okay, my... My chocolate's obviously not... Drinkable yet. I don't know why... The camera's decided to make me slightly red, but we're going to live with that. We can also try that new movie, Scott. No, we're, we're going to try this. Let's not go crazy. We'll, we can try new techniques. Oh. Just make sure, John. There we go. Not to skip the final cutscene, if we manage to do it.
Be careful. You go back with me. Uppercut. Uppercut. Ray. Uppercut. Ray. John Pushed him to the corner. Means he's always going to be attacking outwards. What's he doing? to imagine they're talking about an actual bear. Wallow in this bear. Um. Okay, what I've done. Oh, he's dead again. Fuck. I'll show you.
Let me use the uh, magical berries. Oh, okay, no, yeah, dark berries. Oh, that was fucking awful timing, John. Oh, that's uh, I don't think there's a lot I could do about that. Uh, I think I just need to get a little bit lucky. No, fucking. I need to load up the correct game. Uh, I'm going to attack with all my might, because fuck it. It doesn't really matter at this point. It's uh, Caduceus Dash. <laughs> uh, did I put... Fuck, I forgot. I forgot to skip cutscenes, didn't I? <laughs> Uh, third time's a charm, or so they say. Hmm. Okay, let's save this so I don't forget. So one's health. Full. 59, 58. I think it's a good level to do it. We can absolutely decimate him in the first part. Well, oh, it's that one move. If I can survive that one move, I reckon I can do it. Defense down, didn't I?
Pretty good place for the next one. I hate it. Um, it's just a bit unlucky, but like the timing. Keep doing that. Yeah, it's been a while since I actually heard him. I don't think I'm doing great, to be honest, because he still hasn't gone to a second phase. I know this is a second fight, but... Uh... Yeah. 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 
then we don't have much left. Oh, I, uh, I paused it at the correct time because my TV's threatening to turn itself off. Um, She needs... It's doable, but like I just I don't know how you, um, dodge button. It's uh, I keep there's a dodge button, isn't there? I just use the dodge button, John. It might help. I think I did poorly in that fight, anyway. Oh, I know I did poorly because I died, but you know what I mean. Okay, I'll tell you what I will do though. Right. Um this seems to be a good idea. But I'm gonna I'm skill setup, I think. Oh, I don't know. I do like having the extra raises attack 30%. Like I don't know what that means exactly. But our defense doesn't seem to mean a lot anyway. It's not you. You're not doing that much damage. But fuck it, let's do it for you as well. We'll make everyone stun. Not homing. We'll save that. I mean, the worst case scenario, I'm just going to go down and make more. Um, uh, <laughs> I forgot what they're called. Or a calcums.
Something definitely wrong here! Yeah, it's when I start doing poorly, it's when I just comedy run into fights, into damage every time. Uh, it's the bad, because I've got the thing connected to long. Uh, it's a physical encounter. Yeah. 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 That fucking move there. No, he needs... He's gonna die anyway. I do very much wish I could see... Quite a good series of attacks, I think. Von's man is good. No, no, no. We just did. Working off of. Get away. That was really poor timing. Come over here, you. Cliff was here to see this. Oh yeah, I didn't hit him with my sword. <laughs> and I did it within five minutes. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this battle trophy. Cool. Yeah, so I, I just needed to um, stun him from to prevent him to going into the face that murders me. Yeah, yeah. Don't skip because that'd be really frustrating. I'll hold it.
Magellanic Cloud has been erased. M31, the Andromeda Galaxy. Erased. IC1613. Erased. NGC6822. Erased. At this rate, everything will be deleted. Deletion! Our universe is vanishing before our eyes. It is. It doesn't seem to be too bad with the internet. Do you think that maybe we were too late? I'm trying to think of the Matt Hardy quotes. Uh, or Jeff Hardy's stupid I lyrics. What's going to happen? Just believe. Just believe that we uh, exist. I'm going to classify him as obsolete. You're right. We're not just mere data that someone created. Mm -hmm. Just because we were told to accept deletion doesn't mean we have to give up. No way! That's right, Sophia. Choose to live. But what does Adray think of all this? We need Adray's opinion. There's nothing left. Everything has completely vanished. Ooh. Life, air, even my own body no longer exists. I've never seen it in live wrestling. Nothingness. Hmm? Nothingness? So nothing really exists anymore? Moo. But if that were true, then what about this thought? This thought is real, and I am aware of this thought. I think therefore I am so, Ergo Son Kogigato. There has to be. That means that I'm still alive. And this is a triumph. But what about Adre? Have you ever heard uh, Jeff Hardy's album? Because I, I, I think he might be the worst lyricist on the planet. Worse than Muse. That's not fair. Like, uh, I think Muse are also terrible lyricists, but like, they're much better than <laughs> than Jeff Hardy. The whole um, Matt Hardy thing. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I've forgotten how you. Uh, per oxygen. Yeah. It's all written using a thesaurus, and nothing means anything because he's trying to be deep, and he's he's managed to miss deep and. Hit meaningless, which Muse dude like Muse. I like Muse until I could hear what the dude was saying. Um, hey. it, it suits Mahadi because Mahadi has like well, a veil of time. irony what over everything he does. So I welcome back, Fate. At least I think he does. Took you long enough. Yeah, I see you guys are okay too. What a relief. You mind explaining what happened? Have we been erased? I don't think you have. You're talking to each other. All that we can see in our dimension and everything we can touch it's all been a fabrication created for us to perceive. 
And now Luther has disabled our perception of such things, effectively erasing them from existence. Without perception, there is no existence. I don't think he can wrestle anymore, right? And yet, even though everything around us was an illusion, I'm positive that our minds, which perceive that dimension, really do exist. You're right. No matter what Luther claims, our minds are the only things that were real. <laughs> That's exactly why Luther was unable to erase our consciousness. He merely deleted all the illusions around us. Doing so could not possibly erase that which actually exists outside of his creation. So, you're saying Luther never acknowledged our existence? Does his failure to do so explain why we still exist here? Maybe. Strictly speaking, the universe as we know it most likely no longer exists. Nevertheless, we still feel its existence in our minds. If everyone in that universe still feels like we do right now, then that universe really does exist. This is quite the philosophical conundrum. Does it really matter? Haven't we taken care of everything? If we have, then let's just leave it at that. Good point. I like that you have the motif of Star Ocean in this song. Universe. And that's enough. Let's go. Let's go back to where we belong. Yeah, let's go, Fate. To our... to everyone's universe. And there we go. This looks like a credit screen to me. I'm gonna bump into Sora. Find Castle Oblivion. I, of course, have played two hours of uh, Star Ocean 4, so uh, the universe clearly does exist. I've seen it. So I'll say thank you very much. But I'll keep that off the screen. There's stuff on the screen right now. Uh, I don't know when I'll be playing Star Ocean 4 properly, because uh, I want to finish more games before I start. I started like a load at Christmas. And, uh, yeah, they're filling up a lot of space on my drive. I need to upload them. It means I need to finish things. Ah, that's one way, that's one way to get out of uh, having to explain where the series went. I do appreciate, like, being, like, being in Tri-Ace going, The fuck do we follow this? So, uh, if I understand the implication, it's that they deleted the universe, i.e. they deleted the sphere, whatever it's called, from the, uh, the sphere company, but because their mind, their consciousness was real, and consciousnessness exists essentially on a different plane than, like, physical bodies or anything, and because they can, they know of the universe they live in, they have, they've not deleted the real, actual universe because that is, because perception is reality. Uh, and all they've done is just sort of deleted the computer program. 
But I feel like some of that's going to be walked back <laughs> in the later series when somebody has to go. Uh, we want to write more Star Asian games. What else am I doing? Crisis Core. I've not finished. Crisis Core is quite short, but it's not the next game I plan on finishing. Although I play a bit at that time, I can't sometimes get a little bit grumpy with that game. I'm doing side quests at the moment. The big dragon. I appreciate the Star Ocean 4. Well, that makes sense. So they just like straight up did not want to. <laughs> like, fuck it, we're not even interacting with the end of Star Ocean 3. Oh, actually, it might even say where the, um, uh, the, hmm. the samples come from, possibly, I don't think they need to do that though. But yeah, I like that Star Ocean 4 has a separate mode to teach you how to play the game again. Because it means it's the one game I can just take off and be confident I know how to play. But what I saw of the combat, I enjoyed. There is something to this combat. It takes a while to really understand it. It's all about, you know, angles and, and the stuns. And I won't lie, I fucking hate the stuns when the enemies do it to me. Like, you can just immediately die. Uh, because you can be standing in the middle of two things that have like on and off stuns going on. Oh, there's extra endings to this, isn't there? I've probably not earned any of the good ones. We're not going to beat the spaceships. They're much faster than people running. There's Adray. Adray's fine. I like the extra buttons, the ones we can go around and you press a thing on the head. I want, the other thing I didn't like in this game is holding down a button to do a power. I understand why they did that. Oh, fair enough. But like, I never know how long to hold down the button. And if you hold it not enough, then you do the wrong move. If you hold it too long, you're wasting time. So I dislike that. Uh, so I can see, if I remember correctly, they're, they're now combos instead. It's about that time. Yes, it is. Say hi to the old man for me. Then apologize to him. Tell him I'm sorry I can't take over the dojo. Sure, Cliff. Is his health all that bad? I can't believe it. He's such a tough old guy, I'm... I always thought he was indestructible. I think he's exaggerating a little bit. He just wants me to come home, that's all. I see. Well, he sure does seem down in the dumps. Maybe it's just his age catching up with him. Probably. And I've been away for so long. Yeah. My god! The announcement! The transport Canis will be departing for Claw System shortly. Passengers wishing to board the Canis should report to Gate 3. Your attention, please. Klaus? Oh, that's Xenoblade. Well, I have to go or I'll miss the transport. See you later, Cliff. I'm sorry. I wish I could go back with you. But it's pretty much impossible the way things stand. Cliff, of course, is another yes, word for edge. Sure the stick again. 
Don't worry about it. That's what Age I Maverick. There's Audrey. Ray. Oh, he he had such input <laughs> to the plot. Why introduce a person at the 11th hour who does nothing? Like, he doesn't even do like a Final Fantasy VI thing, like with Edge, where they have like I one important plot point. You can do with those limp noodles you call arms. If you want to go home, go right ahead. I'd rate you're like four times taller than him. No, I can do a few more. <laughs> Just so you yeah, know, I guess he's not that tall. It's not like I'm forcing you or anything. The tall shoes on. If you can't handle how I do things around here, feel free to quit at any time. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, Claire. Uh, father, <gasps> whatever are you making them do? Claire, uh, I merely she leveled up so many times. As you seem unfit for the task. I'm commanding this unit, Father, not you. Please don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong. Their main tasks involve office work and research. There's no need to force them to train like this. What are you talking about? Are these pallid wimps supposed to be recognized as members of the S.H.I.E.L.D. Legion, which is entrusted with the defense of the kingdom? No. The owner of a healthy body is the owner of a healthy spirit. You spoil them too much. The way you do things, only owners of unhealthy spirits will be left, Father. I have my own way of doing things. Please stop interfering. All right, everyone. Time to head back. I can't complain. I did ask for more Please, Audrey. Lady Claire, no. Allow me to continue a little longer. He's right. We're so close. Watch me. I'll make it to the end. I know I can. What? See? They all want to finish. Why don't you just back off, huh? A hundred and seven, a hundred and eight. I can do more. A hundred and twelve. Uh, Lady Claire, I'm sorry. Feel the burn. A hundred and... I'm out. Father, what have you been telling them? Look at these people. It's not healthy to train until you faint. Nah, it's no big deal. I just promised them that whoever lasts till the end of my workout program gets to marry you. That's all. Well, it's not like you've got somebody else picked out, so I'll pick one for you. Father, now that's really going too far. I'll pick my own husband, thank you very much. You know, that's why you're still single after all this time. I think part of the problem is that you don't associate with any gentleman. And at your age, too. I'll thank you not to worry about that sort of thing. Ursi, Wursi, I won't be needing this box tomorrow. Can you put it in the back, please? Yes, Missy. And Quanta Story, you bring forward my red hoop, which I'll use at the start of the act, okay? My pleasure, oh beautiful goddess. Oh, little miss. You're taking the reins of leadership, are you? You're on fire, eh? Of course! 
And there were tons of weird problems holding us back and all sorts of postponements. But this is the performance where I'll finally make my debut. So of course I'm all fired up. All fired up? That's when I played again, John. I see. Oh, yeah. So many crazy things have happened lately, I totally forgot about that. Then, hey, we're really going to have to put our all into it this time, eh? Dang straight. I won't let there be any mistakes on my debut performance. But what's Roger doing? This will be my first step on the road to glory. Nothing can get in the way of the galaxy's biggest future star. I see, I see. You're right. We'll have to make sure tomorrow's performance is tight. Fear not. Gonella hears your words and will not fail you, eh? All right, then. I'll see you later. I have to go take care of my pet hamster. A really important job. So I'll see you later, eh? I hope the hamster's okay. Important job? Uh, okay. Yeah, otherwise, hamster will die. Oh no! It's the troop chief and the assistant chief! Ahem. What are you doing here? The venue still needs to be prepared. Are you slacking? You're slacking, I know it! Huh? Ah, 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 ah? Uh, no, no! Not at all, not at all! Really? You know, we've been dealing with you for a long time now. Don't you think we've figured out how you try to talk your way out of things by now? He's just clowning about. That's right! That's right, no tricks! Um, uh, that is, uh, that is, uh, uh, yes, sir. Oh, no, that, um, that reminds me of a wrestling story. Uh, I've forgotten his name. Yes, that's your line. When he ever wants to get out of something, he says his horse is sick. Want a story? Earth oh, fuck, uh, who's it? Um, it? Chainsaw Charlie. Um, Vanilla here will take care of everything else. You're not serious. That's way too much for one guy, eh? If you I forgot his real name. Without a break, you should be ready by tomorrow's performance. Terry Funk, yeah, yeah. You reap what you sow. It's embarrassing because Terry Funk uh, turns up in a lot of anime. Well, he turns up in more Good than luck. You one. Can do it. He's in One Piece several times. Yeah. May you succeed beyond your wildest expectations, O oh spirit of labor. Hey, uh, wait one minute! Uh, Ursus, Quantus story? What about me? I don't know what he told you, but don't be fooled. You help him. What? Oh... What a disappointment. Oh, well, just chalk it up to experience. Ah, uh -huh, well, with two of us, this may be doable. So, let's work together and do our best, Missy. What about his hamster? <laughs> After learning about our country's state of confusion, the noblemen of Greeton, where the damage was relatively minor, formed a conspiracy to take advantage of the situation. However, now that the Lord of Arzum has been stricken with an illness, the conspiracy is slowly dying out. Is that so? This is very unfortunate for the Lord of Arzum, yet very fortunate for our country. We have asked our citizens to suffer too much already. Now, our sacred kingdom of Aquaria has lost even the ability to avoid useless conflicts. 
In the years to come, until our kingdom's strength has recovered, we will have to ask you to perform many difficult missions. We are counting on you. Yes, Your Majesty. Please, this goes without saying. I have yet to earn the honor of serving the Crimson Blade, but I will not betray Your Majesty's sacred trust. I will spare no efforts in these tasks. It would seem we can stop worrying about Greeton for a while. Although Aeriglyph is another story, according to the reports of the Spectral Legion, everything is peaceful in the Sandmite region. So, it would appear that domestic problems are our main concern. We agree. We do not want to believe this, but... Domestic problems? We just received a report from Claire. There is a sense of restlessness among certain wealthy merchants in Paterni. My money! We have not determined the size or objectives of this plot, or who the ringleaders are, or any such details, but we must begin an official investigation. You are to select one appropriate person to handle this. We also plan to assign a member of the Chain Legion who is familiar with the local area to assist in this investigation. Understood. Very well. I will undertake this mission. Hmm. Are you sure? But Nell, you just returned home. You must still be tired. Should you not assign this task to someone else? No, Your Majesty. I need to keep working. It's the only way I can relax now. This will not do. Trusting the capabilities of one's subordinates and giving them appropriate tasks to build up experience, these are also the responsibilities of those who lead. Entrust this job to another. Her Majesty has spoken. You must send one of your subordinates. What? Don't tell me you're actually complaining about taking a few days off. I will give the matter due consideration. In that case, you are dismissed. With the past war, our country finds itself in dire need of what personnel it has left. Take good care of yourself. Thank you very much. Then, I will take my leave now. Hello, Professor Elena. You have an audience with Her Majesty? That's right. Oh, it's I about the motor button. I developed based on channeled force. I see. I haven't seen you in a long time. You sure look busy. But you're so young. Why don't you try to do some of the things only the young can do? I'll support you any way I can. I'm going spelunking! I hear you really put everything you've got into your research. But that doesn't matter, since I'm not young anymore. Anyway, I'll see you later. It wouldn't do to keep Her Majesty waiting any longer. I mean, this is a JRPG, so not young anymore could mean like mid-30s. Oh, and Professor Elena, why do you work so hard for all of us? It's because I like this world, at least as much as anyone else does. Do you have a problem with that? Yeah, this game took me 20 years to complete. All right, it's about time. System lock. Gravitic warp field released. Now, let's return from gravitic warp space to normal space.
Okay, and the rest is all up to the autopilot. About 30 minutes left till we reach Genesis system. Genesis! It's a sign! The thing I don't get is why we have to meet face to face in this day and age. What a waste of time. All we have to do is take care of this through communications or whatever. That's a tricky problem. When technology moves forward, ways to abuse it are also born. Unless everyone in the universe suddenly turns into good little boys and girls someday, I think meeting face to face will still be the safest way to go. Ah, boss, you're awake already? We've still got some time left before we arrive. I know, but we're gonna meet with some bigwigs from the old Federation government. Bigwig. I don't know how we'll handle them in the new government, but I can't just roll out of bed right before our meeting, can I? <laughs> I guess it's tough to be famous. <laughs> I didn't get famous on purpose. It was more of a process of elimination thing. But honestly, flying all over the place on a daily basis like this? Doesn't it give you lots of food for thought? I'm always worried that my wife will leave me or something. Actually, today's my daughter's birthday, but here I am. And Carl's married. You gotta go home sometimes. I'm no ogre, you know. If you ask for a vacation, I won't say no. That won't work either, will it? Since Quark has disbanded, we really lack personnel. Well, I guess I'm still all right. My wife, she understands about all that. Ah, that reminds me. I put all the mail that arrived while you were asleep in the usual place. You've got about 200 this time. At least 20 of those are priority A, too. <laughs> I'm gonna suggest that this epilogue might be a little long. Didn't need to be quite this long. Well, I can't just ignore them, but they're so depressing to read. I just don't feel like looking at them. There were some dinner date invitations from some fine young women mixed in there, too. What's that? From who? From Ophelia of Tetragenesis and Ally of the planet Midgard. One invitation each. On the same day? Well, they are both beautiful. But I bet this will turn out even worse than the letters from those old men. I never was any good at figuring out what those kinds of people are really thinking. Just more ulcers for me as always. All I want is a nice, relaxing dinner. If only Fate or Maria would come back, things would go a little bit easier. Well, that's not gonna happen. It's not like they were doing what they were doing for the fun of it anyway. Someday events may draw them back out again, but until that happens, I don't expect to see those two involved in politics. If they'd show up, everything would be so much easier. Yeah, well, you know this is an age-based ranking system, so there's nothing we can do. Till it's our turn to pass the baton, all us old folks can do is keep on struggling. I myself want to find a place to retire and take it easy for a while. The best thing about the whole thing is, we know the next generation is excellent, so there's nothing to worry about. I agree with both points. Still, I guess there's no use complaining. We'll just have to work as hard as we can to leave as few problems as possible for the next generation. That's the job of old guys like us. At last. 
time to say goodbye to the ship. If you think about it, all the days of my struggle began and ended on this ship. I'll be right back. I'll be listening in my headphones. It wasn't such a long time, but there's still so much that we have to remember. This is the last chance. All right, I'm gonna do it. Uh, um, Captain? I have something I want to talk to you about. Do you mind? Oh boy, there he goes, there he goes. All right, either he succeeds or everything falls apart. What a sight to behold. Thank you for all your hard work. I never would have been able to make it this far without you. Thanks, Lieber. So, what did you want to talk about? Uh, Captain, I mean, Maria, um, that is, I mean... What is it? What are you so nervous about? If I've there's returned. something I can help with, just say the word and I'll do it. Now I'm a believer. Are you sure you want to let this chance pass you by? Fucking Steve. Won't you regret it later? Don't let it stress you out. Follow your heart. Hmm. It's okay. I've gotten over him. You can't keep fighting for a lost cause forever, you know. You'd have to be pretty stupid to keep trying and trying. Like good old Lieber here. Okay, let's all go back home to where we belong. We have to start our new lives for ourselves now. Thank you for traveling aboard the transport ship Hornet, which is bound for the planet Roke and Kratos Spaceport 3. The ship will be arriving in our Kula system in 12 days, followed by our final destination of Roke, after a total of 14 days in transit. Please, enjoy your flight. Two weeks, that's pretty long. <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna say I've... Now that the creator has left this universe, a new universe created by the formal inhabitants of the Eternal Sphere has been born. Birth, prosperity, glory, decline, destruction, and then rebirth. Ever since the dawn of history, these events have been repeated over and over. But what happened this time was something completely different from all that came before. Rebellion against the Creator, the unforgivable sin. Did we do the right thing? Can we as humans bear the weight of this sin? Well, the implication was that it's all kind of pointless because he deleted it. Hey, you! What and they were fine anyway. Fun? Adults, ain't ya? So act like adults. I, I thought she was a teenager. Um, miss? You know, I have no idea what happened to you, and I don't want to know. But you know, you can't do a dang thing about stuff that's already happened. Stop moping around and start thinking about something else. Some people, always feeling sorry for themselves. Man, I tell ya, I can't stand adults like you who always worry about the past. Drives me crazy. How many do you encounter? So what's your problem? Well, you got something to say to me? Then just say it. Oh, sorry. 
Please forgive her. The things kids say. Oh, they're the side quest characters. Hey, Rettle, you stay out of this. I didn't do this side quest because you can. There's just... nothing wrong with what I said. The shop seems to work fine without it. Rumina, please. A whole lot of people lost their families, loved ones, and friends in this war. Try thinking a little bit about their suffering and their sadness. If you did, you'd never say things like that. Yeah? Well, what's crying gonna change? Nothing! Cry all you want, it won't help. Am I wrong? Where's the lie? Please, please don't talk like that. So I, 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 I... People who can't understand the pain of others are the worst people around. I couldn't, I should have said it like fish, but I couldn't. <laughs> I was too excited at the prospect of quoting him. Wait, it's okay. She's right. Yeah, you're right. It's exactly like you said. We have to be more positive. Crying about things won't change anything. Thanks, Rumina. You've taught me a valuable lesson. Huh? What? <sighs> well, good. As long as you know what I mean. You've got it right. When your very existence is denied, if you accept that and don't even try to fight, you might as well be dead. If we don't act to protect our own selves, then who will do it for us? What a fly. A migratory bird. I wonder what everyone's doing right now. That was a... <laughs> now that I think about it, I did do a lot of crazy things. Maybe I, I should know, stay I... out of sight for a while. It just didn't seem to flow in a way that made sense. On a bird. Side, I wonder how everyone's doing. just closed indefinitely. Worrying won't get me anywhere. What happens, happens. I guess I'll take it easy for a while. The end. Tee end. Uh, yeah, sure. Ooh. Right. I've been the John Struct. I've just finished a Star Ocean. Till the end of time adventure. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in Star Ocean 4. The last Star Ocean? It's not the last one, Star Ocean. The last Starfight? It's not that, is it? The last Jedi? The last Hope. I think it's called The Last Hope.